Did you know you can wirelessly connect your computer to many of our projectors? That means you don't have to worry about cables or adapters. And your computer doesn't have to be physically close to the projector, freeing you up to move around the room. In this video, I will show you how to use EasyMP projection. Before you begin, verify the projector you want to use has a wireless unit attached. The unit will be located at the back of the projector and will look like this. Now verify the software used to connect your computer to the projector has been installed on your computer. This software is called EasyMP Multi-PC Projection. Verify the installation by searching for the program. On Windows 8, this is done by using the Windows button on your keyboard or the Windows button at the bottom left corner of your screen. Then select the search option here and enter EasyMP. On Windows 10, you can search by entering EasyMP in the Ask Me Anything field here. If EasyMP Multi-PC Projection does not come up, it will need to be installed. This can be done through our Software Center. Search for Software Center in the same way you search for EasyMP and select it from the list. Software Center displays a list of all software available for installation. You can narrow down the list by entering Epson as a search term here. From the results, select Epson Multi PC Utility and then Install. Follow the steps of the Install Wizard to complete the installation. Once installed, you can search for the application again and run it. If you are using Windows 8, you will see this message pop up. Always select No. When EasyMP starts, it will list the names of all the projectors on your network that have been set up for wireless connection. If more than one is listed, make sure you know which one is yours. You can verify the name of your projector by using your projector's remote. If the remote looks like this, there is a button here labeled LAN. Pressing this will bring up an information screen where you will find the projector's name. If your remote looks like this, or you do not have a remote, you can find the projector's name by pressing the Source Search button located here on the remote and here on the projector. From the list that comes up, scroll down to LAN. Pressing Enter will bring up the information screen with the projector's name. Now that you know the projector's name, go back to EasyMP. Select your projector and click the Join button. After a few seconds, you will see your computer screen projected. EasyMP will now display as a small toolbar which can be moved around your screen. You will use this toolbar to control what is seen on the projector. The Stop button will stop your screen from being projected, but your computer will still be connected to the projector. You can then use the Show button or the Project My Screen button to display it again. The pause button will freeze the image on the screen, allowing you to do something on your computer that will not be shown on the projector. And the leave button will disconnect your computer from the projector, bringing you back to the start screen of EasyMP. If you anticipate that you will be using EasyMP often, you can pin it to your taskbar by hovering over the program icon here, clicking the right mouse button, and then selecting Pin to Taskbar. One thing to note when connecting wirelessly to our projectors, videos can appear somewhat choppy and the audio in the video can get out of sync. This is because of the large amount of data that needs to be streamed. We suggest that you connect with a cable if you do plan to use videos. That's it for using EasyMP projection. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at 916schools.org.